Tell your friends! Tell your friends about Hooks and Ladders, but also about songstudio.ca. You can get all kinds of information about songwriting, tips and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, like, follow and subscribe. That's what we need, that's what you need. in this uh, world of social media that we live in, what I've yeah. found is Facebook itself, when I make a Facebook post, yeah. whatever it is, I went to a show last night, this is, weren't, the band was amazing or whatever, that would be my most, most recent one, but I get that endorphin or whatever it is, a, a rush of having created something. Yeah. I haven't created anything that's anything more than ephemeral that it will get some likes and some comments. But it's a similar feeling to having written a song, and I find that it's it's a poor substitute, but it's a substitute nonetheless that I have to be careful of, because if I because I could just subsist on making Facebook posts and not writing, because that I'm getting that feeling of satisfaction mm. and so forth. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So I so I I have to be careful that I'm not getting was, it from other your little, places. Your little creative outlet was the Facebook. Post. Yeah, and yeah. I and I and I feel like, and it's not. No, it's it's actually not. Yeah. It's, it's a vacuum. D too, too broad a subject at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, sure. That, I mean, that, that could eat up the entire day just going into that. Cause that's, well, exactly. When I could have been writing a song. So yeah. When I could have been writing. Yeah. I think when I could have been writing a song is the key to that. Yeah. Uh, because there's so many times I'm, I spend a lot, of times, a lot of time in hotel rooms alone. Okay. I have a keyboard similar to this in the room. I set everything up. And then, you know, the, 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 the rabbit hole. Yeah. Of, of, oh, shit, I better make that Instagram post. Yeah, I do that anyway. Um, uh, we call it, uh, it's time for me to dig myself for a while. <laughs> it's called digging yourself. And you can get totally into that. And yeah. at the end, I hate to use the expression at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's yeah. such a cliche, but I do mean this in its actual meaning. At the end of the day, it's it's you feel kind of vapid, you know, or vapid, or however you prefer. It's too cerebral a word. Um, you just feel kind of empty, you know. It doesn't have the same payoff that if you'd created something yourself. Yes, but I think but the you guys human... know that, so I'm I'm just saying nothing. No, but I think it's an important thing to remember. The human need to create is being satisfied in certain ways by social media, uh, and and, and, it's not actual and yet creation. it's not actual creation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Unless you want to get engaged in all kinds of you know arguments and stuff like that, there might be some kind of Thing. Maybe, I, I have yeah, no interest yeah. in that. Now, okay, uh, Lindsay, but Marg had a question. Does it relate to this? But we'll get to yours right after. Yeah. It goes back to being stuck. Do you feel sometimes songs are just not ready to be written if you have an idea? Songs are not ready to be written if you have an idea. You have an idea, but, but, but you try and write it and it's just not happening. Okay. I would, okay. I'm trying to think, I have to think of a, a, an occasion where that's happened. Sometimes you get a really good subject and you really want to write about it and you write something that's lousy. Um, my, I, I, I want to, I'd have to give that a little more thought, but my quick answer would be to write about it again. Like take the same subject and write about it again and, and with, a, with a different set of notes and a different, different melody and a different everything. Um, but take, take another run at it. Was it Irving Berlin that said we all have six songs in us? Is, is oh, yeah. Is? So, we yeah. all have six songs, right? And we just rewrite those anyway. We just write those six songs. I, I know that to be true. And if you're, if you're genius level, which I think he considered uh, Gershwin to be, you've got seven. <laughs> so that's genius. But a really great songwriter has six. And we just keep rewriting them despite ourselves, right? So if you were stuck and the song's not ready to be written, I hope I'm getting to the to the S, to the what the heart of your question. If the song's not ready to be written, write it anyway, and then just just write it, and then kind of go, okay, d didn't get it right that time. But you know, who knows if you got it right? If you if you if you wrote it, play it for someone. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Does that does that? I, I want I don't want to give like uh, uh, vague answers, but I mean, that's that that's what I would say to do, or. Take the same thing as the current, the, the, the basic little idea of it and work with another songwriter and say, I want to write about this. That's what I learned from Eddie Schwartz. Right. He would want to write a song about this. And I'm like, 
I don't want to write a song about that. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he's got this one tiny little idea, and you go, yeah, well, what if I just contributed this to it? And suddenly the whole, the whole picture has changed, you know? That's why I encourage uh, co-writing, quite honestly, yeah, I do. Yeah. In a, in a, it's not easier, is it? No, it's definitely like you not. You think it yeah. might, oh, this will be easier now. I got another yeah. guy. No, it's, it's just as difficult. It's just a different set of problems. It's a different set of problems. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good way to put it. Now, Lindsay, you were going to ask something? Yeah. Um, when you said that Bruce Holder's songs were too cerebral, yeah. uh, I mean, that to me is a compliment. But I'm just wondering what you did. Did you take that advice and dumb it down, or did you? Yeah. So I, much like Nana said, I, I knew it at, at, at at the heart, I wanted to not be just write stupid stuff, right? I wanted to write stuff that, um, that, 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 that people could relate to, but make them think a little bit, at least, okay? Um, so I, I took the advice in that I thought, okay, I, I, I'm just re reflecting on how I, I approached that suddenly where it suddenly became successful. Um, Okay, I would often try to distill almost the entire meaning into a, into the chorus of the song. That way, you didn't have to all all the various trails that were being set up that were kind of getting your mind. Like I tried to relegate those to the verses, and definitely to the bridge section of the song, but get the 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 the, the, the current the central kernel of the idea condensed down into the, you know, almost like the, the espresso, <laughs> the tight wound little thing be, to be in the chorus of the song. And that seemed to open that up. So I can give you examples of that, various songs that, that w where I tried to distill that into the chorus where you couldn't miss it. You can't call it too cerebral. I can go off on, on tangents in verses, etc but not in the chorus of the song. That became the central thing of like, this has to drive home this idea. So the chorus would be more palatable to the masses. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely want, I, every song, I, I want it to be a hit. But I, but, and I usually start from that point. Then I realize, oh, you, 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 oh, there's all kinds of mental... Uh, gymnastics that happen next yes. Yes. <laughs> that, that are you know all of the self-doubt and then the bravado and then your ego and then this and that and that, and that song sucks and it's number one and you know, and, you know you, you're digging through all this you know layers of garbage and then finally you get to somewhere where you're like well, wait, wait a second wait a second so if it was about this how do I Okay, squeeze that down. Make it more. Make it more obvious. Make it more obvious. That's how I, I, I treated it. Was make it more obvious. And, and I, any good? I, I, I always am. Ter I'm terrified of giving an answer that would steer a person in the wrong direction. But that that's what worked for me. We're all grown up. Robert, yes. <laughs> so, so do you tend to start your writing with a chorus? Is, is that the first piece in, in a song a lot of times for you? Or? Usually the first piece for me because I'm. A, so I'm a piano player. Um, usually the first piece for me is a, a melodic thread. Something melodic is it's the beginning for me. And then that melody begins to dictate everything that follows, you know, until I'm just completely, I'm either an, entirely bored with it where I can't get beyond that level. But usually it's, it's that melody that just, okay, that's in my head, that's in my head, that's in my head put some lyrics to it that reflect what, it, what it's, what it's um, uh, suggesting. And then once, once you figure out what it's about, yeah. then do you do that distillation? Like, would yes. that be the next move? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, kind, kind, of, kind of the next move is to get that. It's not, it doesn't have to be the chorus, though. I mean, it can be just basically that I'm... You know, here's, here's the drag. It's actually different every time, quite honestly. It's never quite the same twice. Um, there are certain things in life that I've discovered that, that, that are like that, that, that you have to just succumb to the reality that it's never quite, it's never the same twice, and you have to 
you have to navigate it in a different way every single time. But at the end of the machinery, what comes out at the very end better be that the idea has been distilled down into one little tight ball that you can hang your hat on, so to speak, right? Um, that you can grab onto, okay? Which is what I liked about, for example, um, okay. Uh, so often after a great songwriter dies, you can go deep into their catalog. So I've listened to a lot of Gordon Lightfoot and um, that song, Beautiful, I just, uh, you see, I, I could be completely wrong about this, but I have a feeling that he dug down to, to that level of honesty that it explained it just right. And everything led to this, to the word that everyone can relate to, beautiful, right? 